Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel where we talk about stuff. One of the more popular theories within the cryptocurrency space has always been um, what happens when money enters the market? That is a fairly logical thing. Uh, what happens if Bitcoin is at one cent? and someone puts $100 into the market, the price goes up. What happens if Bitcoin's at 10,000 US dollars and someone puts 50, 60 million dollars into the market? The price might possibly go up. What happens if Bitcoin is roughly around 30,000 US dollars, at least at the time of me making this video? And we happen to find out that a number of very rich individuals and institutions are openly into the Bitcoin cryptocurrency space and they happen to put money into the market. How would Bitcoin move? Uh, we are, if you haven't been paying attention, very near to Bitcoin's next halving. It is the most discussed news that we have in the cryptocurrency space right now, besides the Ripple XRP versus US SEC news, is the idea that we are very close to, at the beginning of, already one toe into the next major bull run. There are a lot of analysts like Plan B, etc., who believe that we are now in the next bull cycle and therefore we are at the point where the cryptocurrency market is going to begin rising like crazy. A very popular analyst by the name of Willy Wu, real name, very cool, uh, recently went over a number of numbers and claims that if a small portion, and I say small, you'll see, uh, a portion of money by these institutions actually ends up making it into the cryptocurrency space and specifically into the Bitcoin market. Bitcoin would 10x, he says it would roughly hit around 400,000 US dollars in the course of a couple of months. This is a very specific scenario in that we would need these institutions to start putting money into the market openly and not simply uh, buying over the counter, what have you. He said online, and the reason why this is significant is because <laughs> we've actually heard that all these companies are uh, actively into Bitcoin now. So this isn't a, if these companies eventually get into the cryptocurrency space and then they put money into the market, this is where Bitcoin would go is that these companies are already into Bitcoin. As always, this article will be in the description below. So you can also read it for yourself and see exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, he says that, and they're like a nice little pretty photo here as well. BlackRock, <laughs> Fidelity, JP Morgan Chase, Morgan Stanley, Goldman Sachs, BNY Mellon, Invesco, and Bank of America. If they alone put roughly around 5% of their assets under management, not even the entirety of the money that they own, not even the trillions of dollars that are backing them that are being held, simply the assets under management from those one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight banks and companies, 5% of their money would get us to roughly around a $310,000 Bitcoin. Can anyone tell me why this is significant? Not because the number's so high. It's because these are only eight companies. One of my biggest theories uh, within this space is that um, there's more than these eight companies in the cryptocurrency space. Wild theory, I know. Like, how does that even make sense? MicroStrategy isn't even on this list. For those of you who don't know, MicroStrategy is openly the largest company holder of Bitcoin that we have on the planet, once again, openly, because they were required to file with the US SEC for their cryptocurrency holdings. The news that we recently got, I think they hold 140,000 Bitcoin. I think that's it. 140,000 Bitcoin, just them alone. They're called micro strategy. So if you calculate MicroStrategy, Michael Saylor, the Winklevoss twins, the other millionaires and billionaires on the planet, those of you out there who are lucky enough to own a tenth of a Bitcoin, a fourth of a Bitcoin, dare I even say half of a Bitcoin, if you accumulate all of that together and then you throw into the mix these eight companies, keeping in mind that's Bitcoin's price right now plus these eight companies. This is not factoring in everyone else who I also just said, 
think about that. That's Bitcoin's price plus these eight companies throwing in 5% of their money into the Bitcoin market. That gets us to, he has the exact number here. He says, in the most bearish of scenarios, that is, these companies are putting money into the market and everyone else is panic selling. Why they would do that, I do not know. He says the most bearish scenario is a $128,000 Bitcoin if these eight companies put money into the market and everyone else panics and sells. If they put money into the market and things go right, it would give us around a $398,000 Bitcoin. Factoring in also everyone else, and I dare give it, it's roughly believed to be around 50 million to 100 million people, I think, who are cumulatively into the cryptocurrency space. If they were also all buying Bitcoin, that's how you end up getting to those uh, really crazy uh, cryptocurrency numbers that we've been seeing for a very long time, especially for Bitcoin, for those of you who've been missing it. A lot of analysts and I try to be uh, in the center here in that I try to make sure that I don't go too hypey. It's evident that over the course of a bull run, a bull market, uh, Bitcoin typically does a 10 to 15x. Uh, 2021 was a bit different as we were under uh, heavily different circumstances where we were told that we uh, were not able to leave the premises and or everyone was absolutely terrified of what was uh, taking place on the globe. Uh, and as such, the market did not reach its full potential. You might remember uh, in 2020 and 2021, one of the larger beliefs was that we were going to go uh, over 100,000, roughly hitting, I think the number was 125 and or $175,000 per Bitcoin. But you know, the world's economy literally collapsed. Remember the days when we had uh, the terrifying news of 12% uh, inflation, 9 million percent inflation that kept on popping up everywhere and therefore we couldn't go as high as we would have gone. Uh, a lot of people are saying now whether this will happen, I don't know, that we are looking at a 250000 to a half a million dollar Bitcoin at the uh, crescendo of the next uh, bull run. And people believe this is, and I know I keep saying it, but you have to have it in your mind because this isn't a normal situation where the largest companies on the planet are actively into Bitcoin right now and are probably buying over the counter and have, I believe, made sure in their own fancy ways uh, that prices have remained lower so that they can also buy as well at a lower price. It, it makes a lot more sense to buy at 28000 than it does at $65,000 per coin. You want to make sure that you have a lot more so you can become richer when Bitcoin's price ends up hitting a million. Yes. So just from those eight companies alone, uh, they would push us to a $398,000 Bitcoin. I do believe at some point it is going to happen. It's just a matter of when for me. I don't know if it's going to be this cycle or the next. Uh, but things are looking pretty good. Um, and I say this for reality's sake. Unless we have another uh, worldwide, why is all of this happening this time uh, event. You, uh, you, you catch my drift. Yeah. I do hope that you have all enjoyed. I do hope you all are having a great day, a great morning, a great afternoon, a great evening, wherever you are, wherever you might be. I do hope it's absolutely fantastic. Thank you all once again for watching, listening, liking, commenting, and or supporting. And I will most certainly be talking to you all soon. See you.